How is that my fault? I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people, but what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. What? They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I am uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people... Ah! Bonus. Our ships are yours. Yay! Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. We're all making some sacrifices today. <laughs> Let him go. Spectre authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Batarian mm, fleet! Ooh, another Batarian fleet. Got all the fleets. Okay, it was it was worth it then. That was hard to say. I don't know why. Okay, one hour left. Let's see if we can get into space and actually do a mission. Well, we've been doing missions here and a lot of running. But. One moment, please. Now arriving at Dogging Bay D twenty four. Let's see if we can't find. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. Uh, none. Okay, so we're here again, so let's... Talk to him, see us. Your suggestion to come out here was a good one, Commander. I needed this. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Look at that ship! <laughs> yeah, that's ours. You can't have it. Oh, and we need to talk to the dock. Crew deck. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. Oh yeah, definitely. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medigel delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. Check with Glyph. We did it. Dr. Tassoni found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Dip, 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 dip. Health bonus. I buy that for the Lala. Ready for the next mission? What is the next? Ready for the next mission? Yes. Ready for the next mission? <laughs> That's a weird question. I can't answer it. Always ready. That's the answer. Hoo ha! I'm a soldier. You've got new messages, Commander. Ah, <sighs> more messages. Only one. Okay. Meet some old friends at the Citadel Memorial. Um, after you left the memorial, memory, memory, blah, 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 logic, then good one, um, hope they can help. Thank you for helping me through this. I'm feeling good. I might be blah, 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 blah. Look at that galaxy map. 
Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? <laughs> you play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Well, now that I know your weakness, we might have to try a game. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, personal apartment. Do I have a personal apartment? Admiral, how you holding up? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge, clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, dammit. It's yours now. <laughs> I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. So say what? Explore the apartment, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Sure, I can talk about Commander Shepard. Big topic. There's been a lot written about the Commander. You have received but your most message. of it isn't true. People are quick to judge. They don't know the whole story. I don't even know the whole story. But I know the woman. Worked with her. Fought with her. Trust her with my life. Shepard's had some rough patches. Who of us hasn't? <laughs> She's been forced to fight a lot of battles alone. God only knows how she got out of some of that. Makes your head spin. Thing is... You never heard a complaint. Never once got, no sir, I can't do that. She never hesitated. Few people know what Shepard's been through. I'd like to think I come pretty close. And I worry sometimes she forgets. There's a whole bunch of people who lose sleep over her getting back home. Maybe it doesn't need to be said. Maybe we're too dumb to say it. Soldiers like the Commander are rare. Women like Shepard, even more rare. Yeah, I completed the game. I got an apartment on the Citadel. That's the... Uh, that's the pinnacle. You know. Stop making noises. Why are you plinging and plonging? Got a few things I want to go over with you. With the Normandy and Dietrog, I figured out... Joker. Oh, so now the ship is in dry dock. Customize the bathroom, the bed, the kitchen. What is this? This is what this must be a DLC. Oh, I only have like a standard. That's, a, that's another thing I can use money on. Money that I don't have. <laughs> Standard wall. Hey, it stopped playing and plunging. Ping pong. Got a poker disc. Early days, right? 
People ask why I joined the military. Everyone talks about honor, duty, sure. But that's... never the whole truth. It's a hundred little things that add up to commitment. I joined because of a dog. Yeah. A dog. This patchy, mean son of a bitch that used to bark at me every day on my way to school. He'd snarl and I'd start running. Scared the hell out of me. I was just a kid. I remember being in a bad mood one morning. Angry, I can't recall why. When that dog started in on me, I snapped. Started barking right back. We both kept at it until we had nothing left. Dog never bothered me again. <laughs> why did I join the military? Sometimes you just gotta howl to make things right. <laughs> chance to sit down with one of Earth's most decorated soldiers, Admiral David Anderson. He was kind enough to answer my questions and talk about his career. Today the Admiral is on Earth, leading the defense of our home against the Reapers. We have no communication with him or any soldiers on Earth, but we can't forget what they're doing for us. Tonight's show is dedicated to all of the soldiers out there, fighting and dying to keep us safe. Admiral Anderson, today marks the 30th anniversary of the N7 program. Can you describe your first day of training in this now famous program? The Interplanetary Combatives Training Program is all business from day one. How so? We're given basic gear, then separated and stranded on an asteroid with no nav data. The test ends when the last person runs out of oxygen. Sounds daunting. What happens to the ones who run out of air first? Out of the program. The best N7s can survive alone, but work together to survive even longer. Uh, that's very impressive, Admiral. Deep space survival training. Uh, that has to be... Uh, so difficult. All of it would take such strength of character. Well, just plain strength. But then, you seem like a strong person. I'm sorry. Is there a question in there? Uh, well, does the program make the man? Or do you think you were born for this? It's a bit of both, I suppose. Every soldier reaches a point in their career, sometimes more than once, when they are asked to give more than they ever thought they could. That moment is the test. I've seen men and women, almost sure to fail, persevere long past the point of breaking. That experience changes them. Others, with all the gifts and abilities, fail in that moment. Sometimes they pick themselves up and carry on. Sometimes they're just done. What about you? What was your moment? I've had a few, none of which I'd like to share. But uh, I think the toughest tests are still ahead of me. What makes you say that? Call it a hunch. Soldier's intuition? Something like that. Do you trust your intuition? I mean, do you follow your heart over your mind? <laughs> well, <laughs> it depends on the day. <laughs> no, I... I suppose if I were to be honest, I do trust my instincts. The problem is... War isn't orderly. And the enemy is never predictable. Even the most experienced veteran is going to find themselves in situations they haven't trained for. In those instances, and there's more than I'd like to admit, your instincts are the only thing keeping you alive. That, and the men and women you're fighting beside. But soldiers are only as good as their leader, isn't that true? Yeah. A good leader can make an okay squad great. A bad leader, well, War tends to make examples of them. What makes a good leader, then? Mm -hmm. A good leader is someone who values the life of his men over the success of the mission, but understands that sometimes the cost of failing a mission is higher than the cost of losing those men. That's a terrible line to have to walk. <laughs> yes, it is. But war is a terrible thing. Thank you for your time, Admiral. Thank you. 
The remainder of this interview was to take a more personal look at Admiral Anderson's life. It wasn't finished when the Reapers invaded. We can only hope that the Admiral and the soldiers under his command survive to tell us the rest of their stories. I'm Kalisa Algelani. Thank you for watching. Well, watching. It was only audio. No, no, it's fine. I got a few minutes. First contact war? Yeah. I was there. My first real combat. First for love. Oh, it stops. Damn it. No, no, it's fine. I got a few minutes. First I thought I could wander war. around, but I can't. Yeah.
But if you're lucky, really lucky, you find yourself on a good ship, in front of a good crew. A crew you can trust with your life. Gifted. Disciplined. Brave. All of them. Eager to set sail into the endless black ocean. I still remember my exo asking what my orders were. Shepard, I said. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> God, I was her, uh, his uh, exo. You never asked me about this, but my wife just called. My ex-wife. Nobody likes to talk about the toll that long months apart can have on military relationships. She wasn't military. She couldn't handle it. But it's not even about military and non-military, damn it. It's space flight. Space flight. Finding the mass relays, miracles of engineering. Human imagination rising to meet our desires. We pay a price for that curiosity, that drive. Our relationships suffer. People we love suffer. But that's reality. And it's worth the cost. I must have thought it was. I guess I still do. In the end, you just have to hope you made the right choices. rooms are there that's insane so two let's take you asked one. me to talk about the ssv normandy the normandy sr1 as commander of the tokyo i was consulted on the normandy's design and on board for her initial training exercises the average person probably doesn't know that the normandy was a joint project with the torians acting ceo eli zander was no diplomat. She ran out of patience with Torian posturing and politicking during construction. The chief architect of the Drive Corps, Octavio Tatum, and his team of Torian engineers were in the CIC for final training exercises. Tempers flared when Xander pushed the limits of the stealth system, waiting to vent the IES well past what Tatum was comfortable with. I tried to calm the situation. But it still ended with the Turian scientist in shackles and a human Turian fistfight at Korra's den later. Funny now, when I first laid eyes on the Normandy, she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Day after that training run, Admiral Wright found me on the bridge. She's yours, he said. Can't trust her to Xander. Send me a list of crew from the Tokyo you'd like and prep for your first mission. Short command, thanks to Saren. Still, one of the highlights of a long career. The Turians. Hm. Mm, well, I might not always see eye to eye with the politics and the individual, but I have a great respect for the Turian military. Any Alliance soldier lucky enough to take part in their training programs will certainly be better for it. Their precision, skill, and discipline come together in a way that's second to none. Not that I'm faulting our own people or training. It's just that after fighting Torians in the first contact war, years later, I had the opportunity to observe and train on Paladin. It was a turning point for me. And I would encourage any soldier to try it. It's a unique experience to put yourself in the squad of a Turian commander. My commander was an uncompromising bastard named Bartox Oryx. If you can find him, just ask how the platoon I commanded was trounced in his strategy game. Humbling. But I've used what I learned that day many times. 
The xenophobes will have their say. But I think it's vital that we do more of this kind of cross-species training. There you go. <laughs> and if you do find General Oryx, let me know. I owe him money. <laughs> well, I guess that was all that I could find. Uh, uh, I didn't expect to do this. Uh, I did not expect to get a, a apartment. Um, need to meet Joker for sushi. Commander Shepard, your table is ready. Hmm. Cool aquarium. Uh, I like that the Vieta was uh, for French. And we're having sushi. Hey, Shepard, not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious. Like, French guy at the door, serious. <laughs> Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You see the line outside? But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe and a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Ah, uh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. Our ship. The best thing we can do right now is Parker and let the techs do their work. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change, space tire rotation. Right. Trust me, it'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. Let someone else do the work for once. I get orders. You're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. So, <laughs> your email said it was important? My email? I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I, I didn't send anything. Commander! Excuse me, sorry. Lion's business. Commander, this is urgent! I don't think that's the umbrella lady. <laughs> Commander Shepard, I'm staff analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance, excuse me. Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. Yeah, I think she's aware of that. <sighs> no, I don't mean Cerberus and the Reapers. I mean other people. New people. They're... It's... <sighs> Someone is hacking your account. Comm channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. <laughs> Why? Targeting me? What do they want? The intel isn't definitive yet. Last time, I guess without definitive intel, we almost landed troops on a gas giant. Which is bad. Hang on, Brooks. Take a breath. From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. <laughs> Joker. Ow, my 
pancreas. <laughs> my pancreas. Hey. Damn it. Got one, sir. Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. Blazing is a good idea without any armor. incoming oh Brooks oh that makes sense inside a space station and it's raining while well, simulate uh, simulate uh, real life perhaps commander i found a secure terminal um okay down there yep feeling good <laughs> yeah i got one health Zero. you got hit Too much. So, can I help with anything? Alert CSEC. I'll look for a way out. We you talking? Okay. Current industry unit still working, but a new one, blah blah blah. The customer, blah blah blah. Don't fall. Brooks, I see some sky cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no food, no laundry. Ah, oh, it's a sky car lot. Position motors. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Okay, right. I can't go that way. Oh, there. Has the whole area locked down. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, Brooks. You can oh, do also, it. Stay off your calm. Well, except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. But they really don't seem to like you. Yeah, I'm sensing that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Okay, I must admit I didn't expect that when I visit the uh, the apartment. I was just like, hey, we can do something else, but duck to the uh, citadel. Nice. Somebody back there. 
to go. Uh, I told you I'm licking the fruit when I'm not around. Stop that. Seriously. B. Shepard's down there, open fire. Shepard, what are you doing? I heard that from here. It's all under control. <laughs> I think. I'm detecting multiple alarms across the wards. What's the situation? Thought I'd make things more interesting. Aren't you the shadow program? Maybe you tell me. Hey, they called me. And why would the um, why would the uh, try and kill Joker? Because he's the best damn pilot in the universe. Maybe they are in like on a Facebook group. It's called. We hate Shepard. Shepard? Shepard. Look, here's the deal. You just can't say stuff like that. G. 
she will freak out. Money. Yes, please. We can always use some credits. We're actually earning credits while we are in the uh, Citadel. I can't believe it either. Um, something extreme. <laughs> Just stealing all the money. It's not all here. Because I'm a money grabber. <laughs> Let's put that one there. That one there. You're not dead yet. I feel like this gun is like OP. It's like two shots they get. But when I use my... Uh, what's the name for it? I can't remember. Fireball. I feel like it's not really doing anything to it. Look at that. Fireball took like 20% of the shield. Understood. Take it easy, Brooks. Um, no, it took like 20% of the shield with the uh, flame thingy. And one shot on the gun, a shield was gone, and another shot, and he was dead. wonder if they can see me if I open the door. Day, Shepard. You could say that. Landing pad is over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. I like your outfit. A uh, control panel, right. I heard you fell through a fish tank. We'll talk about it later. A shame. I quite liked that restaurant. We'll talk about it later. Yeah, could you bring some of my weapons? Oops. Right. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. Gate control. See if there's some more money. <laughs> Res. Stealing all the money. From all the business owners. What's over here? I think. I think. Okay. Guess we just need to go over here. Hmm. Stand back. One moment. Hello. Could you please open the gate? Thank you. Please leave. <laughs> well, I could have done that. I guess this mission will be... Um, I'm in relationship with uh, Liara. If you were in a relationship with someone else, it would probably be the, that person you were here with. I think. Yes, that could make sense. Um, they really want to kill us? Kill us? Ok. 
game. Rex? What are you doing here? Ah, just butting heads with the council over Krogan expansion. Probably just gonna keep coming. Good to go, Commander. Where are you? We gotta go, Commander. Where are you? That's the one. No. Get to the shuttle. Hey, hey, hey I'm working on it. Out here? No. Good to go, Commander. Yeah, 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 Joker, take it easy. That seemed a little too relaxed. <laughs> Just a little bit. Someone want to tell me what's going on here? Who were those mercenaries? They were heavily armed and using C-Sec shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns. And grenades. And those drone things. It's all right. I'm calling Commander Bailey. See what's going on with C-Sec. Okay, that sounds... Wait! Wouldn't that just make whoever you contact a target too? She's right, Shepard. Until we know more, it's a huge risk. Okay. For now, we run this ourselves. Right. Ourselves. On our own. Outside the law. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brooks, it's okay. I know this is a lot to deal with. I got shot. I got medigel, but still, I took a desk job explicitly to not get shot. And you killed a hundred guys with a pistol! Well, yes, that did happen. I mean, who does that? Well, you, I guess. But besides you, they said the medigel might make me jumpy. Do I seem jumpy? Just a bit. How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like uh, someone using an admiral's pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that admiral is fighting on Tichanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits after my cat. <laughs> Brooks. <laughs> Right, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Bis... Uh, my program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Okay. Let's figure out who they are and shut them down. Ideas? Maybe. That pistol you picked up. 
For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Nor have I. Let me see if I can dig something up. Well, you can try. But I should warn you, I haven't found anything yet, and I've been digging pretty deep. I'm sure you have. Glyph. Collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Thanks. All right, the hour is on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? <laughs> Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Permission to come aboard, Shepard? Oh, that's why we needed an apartment. We needed somewhere to be. Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are going to talk about this bait thing. <laughs> the Normandy's nice, but for unwinding after a mission, you can't get better than this. Observation Lounge needs a hot tub. <laughs> Nothing beats having a Krogan bodyguard, huh? Had a buddy like that once. Uh, no, not so much a buddy, really. More of a prisoner who helped us. <laughs> it's a long story, man. Anyway, Brooke, she's kind of cute. Think she's on the market? Yeah. Shepard, I found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. Um, can I just talk with people separately? Just kind of want to. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually. Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. <laughs> Bet you never saw a shuttle get taken down like that before. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I still got it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I think um just gonna try and talk to everybody um without starting the mission because we are pretty much out of time so there's no reason for a mission startup that we can't finish i think uh, might as well end here and then come back later the restaurant attack has made the news civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to Hello, Shepard. Hello, Edie. I'm glad you made it out of that ambush okay. None of us saw that coming. But lesson learned. Never have dinner with Joker. It won't end well. <laughs> find this mission system to be outdated and clumsy. Um, when joking, when is it time to letters from words? It was the next time in my lifetime. Captured by the reaper, blah, 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 yeah. Come see me next time you are where Dr. The Citadel. Okay. Probably gonna forget that. But eventually I'm probably gonna run around with all the mission things and see if I can't find where to deliver them. Uh, probably ran into her. Uh, I thought next time we were in Citadel, maybe we could take a break. Can't fight a, fight a war without a little R&R. &R. I'll be hanging out in C C sec in the shuttles. Ooh, Miranda. I discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad. But there's something else going on. I'm back at the Citadel, find me. Probably also gonna forget that. Uh, thank you for taking the time to speak with the uh, civilians. I'd love to see how uh, Commander Shepard kills times between missions. Fair enough. 
Anyways, uh, let's get a shot like maybe like this and go like this. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, joining me today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I definitely enjoyed the game. Uh, I definitely haven't played this part of the game before, so I think it's definitely going to be a, a DLC that I didn't buy back when it came out first time so that's pretty cool um yeah uh, if you are enjoying yourself and you're not already please consider giving this channel a follow so you don't miss next time i'm streaming i will try and be streaming on wednesday but i'm not sure if it's gonna happen because well we are opening up here in denmark so i'm going back to the office uh so i have to see if i can beat traffic and be in on time to streaming here at four o'clock in the afternoon um i don't know yet but we uh, we have to wait and see um oh it's, it's totally fine silent um it's fine and thank you for joining me today again uh, it's been nice as usual um if you want to check out my youtube channel this stream will come on youtube uh, eventually, I think we are a bit ahead here on the uh, Twitch stream. Um, so if you're watching this now, maybe I already been been done with the Mass Effect three for a while. I don't know. Otherwise, maybe check out the ending if you don't want to see all the middle part. Just see the ending um, here on Twitch. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. The last thing I want to do is just wish you all a great day. Have fun gaming. 